Welcome back, my art friends. It has been a while since I've done a painting because we've had a busy summer of moving and camping. But today I'm gonna paint a picture that actually I have hanging in my house. It's a picture of some aspen trees. So the colors you're gonna need are blue, white, green, yellow, black, and brown. I'm gonna use my medium flat brush, my medium and small round brush. Today you're also gonna need a piece of cardboard. You wanna make sure that it's corrugated cardboard, which means it has the little zigzags in the middle. Don't forget to have your rag and a cup of water handy for cleaning. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by painting um, my sky light blue. So I'm gonna use almost all white and go about just a little above the halfway point and put just a small amount of blue in there. My whole sky is gonna be this very light blue color. Take that brush and wipe it off. And while this is still wet, I am going to add in some clouds. So I'm gonna take my medium round brush with some white paint and I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna kind of dab on some clouds and I want these to be pretty light and go behind my tree. So I don't want them to stand out a whole lot. So I'm really kind of tapping them in. To make my clouds, what I do is I do a straight-ish bottom line with a couple of bumps, maybe one bump or two bumps, but just a couple of bumps. And I like to keep my clouds in odd numbers. So, you know, three clouds is good to me, five, seven. I don't really like to do just one though. Wash that brush off and dry it off. And then underneath this area, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out where our path is gonna go, as well as fill in some of our darkest colors. So with my medium round brush again, I'm going to take some brown paint and I'm gonna just kind of make a line and it doesn't connect with my sky because we're gonna have a little bit of green going on there. But from right there, without washing my brush off, I just wiped it off. I'm gonna grab white paint because I do want it to be a little bit light. I'm gonna make a very curved line. So it's gonna have a big curve at the top and a goes down at an angle at the bottom. And it's actually gonna start at the exact same point, but then get wider as I come down. So inside of this space, I'm gonna make a really light brown color. So I'm gonna use brown, yellow, and white. I'm just going to fill this path in with a light brown color. Wash that brush off really well. And then the rest of my base color is going to be a mixture of green, brown, and just a little bit of black to darken it up. So I'm just gonna color this whole space in with a really dark green because this is gonna be the underbrush of where I have my plants. Now we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our first layer of the next middle ground. So now that I have a dry-ish background, I'm gonna go in and start layering um, where my forest is gonna be. So with my medium flat brush and a little bit of yellow paint, and I'm saying a little bit, I don't need a whole lot, I'm just gonna kinda pull some lines of color up. Now, these lines of color should not all end at the same point. And I definitely want them to go above 
my blue line. So they are going a couple inches above my blue line. Then with that same brush and a little bit of brown paint, so I did not wipe my brush off, but I'm adding some brown. I'm gonna add a second layer in, and this layer is going to be a little bit shorter than the first one. So I could still see that yellow above it. Again, it is going to be a varied line. I don't wanna make it all the exact same height. And if you want to, you can even add a small amount of green in there. with my brush going um, perpendicular to my canvas. I'm just gonna pull a couple of lines up because this is supposed to be kind of where the trees are. And so by just adding a couple of these lines going up, it's gonna help make that visual statement. All right, wash my brush off. We are gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna lay out our trees and then start filling in our grass area. With the Jaya background, it is now time to find your cardboard piece. And we're gonna use this cardboard piece to create our trees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use my paintbrush and kind of paint on some white on the edge of my cardboard piece. And you do want it to be kind of thick and chunky. And then in some areas, I'm gonna drop a little bit of brown. Remember, not making it, you know, be nice and neat and even, maybe even a little bit of black. And because I really love green, I'm gonna drop a couple spots of green on there. And then to make these trees, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about making some of them lower and some of them higher. And the higher up they go in the picture plane, the skinnier I'm going to make them. So I'm gonna take my board and I'm gonna set it down as straight as I can and just pull it across a little bit. See that? Now it's gonna take two or three swipes to make it nice and filled in. And it's also gonna help us get that really cool texture of an aspen tree. And I'm gonna make these go all the way off of my canvas. I can flip my board around and go right back down that same line. So I'm gonna do this as many times as I want. Remember, the ones that are closer towards the bottom are going to be a little bit thicker and the ones that are closer to the top are going to be a little bit thinner. Every time I change my tree I'm going to add some more paint to it. So I'm going to add my white. My brush is still dirty so some green got on it. I'm going to add some brown. I'm going to add a little bit of green and a little bit of black. And I'm just going to keep adding trees until I'm happy with where I'm at. Now that I have all of my main trees done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do your background trees. And those are the trees that are kind of furthest back and they don't have as much detail. So now that I have my main trees done, I'm gonna show you how to do your trees in your background. And so with that same piece of cardboard and a little bit of um, the, the paint colors on it, we are going to do straight lines. And so I'm gonna start up here. And I'm really just gonna kind of set it down and pull it down. So I'm not dragging it across the canvas. All I'm doing is setting it down and kind of copy cutting that line. And you can put as many or a few of these in there as you want, but these are just your trees that are in your background. Now 
Then I'm gonna take my cardboard and I'm gonna cut it off. I need a smaller piece of cardboard for my next step. With a smaller piece of board, I am now going to make my branches. And I don't need to have a lot of branches on here um, because we're really just gonna kind of pretend like there's a bunch. So I'm just gonna take that skinny board and I'm just gonna set it down kind of like I did with my skinny trees in the background. And I can make my branches. And again, I don't need to have a whole bunch of branches, but I can add some on there just to show that they have some. Then I'm finished with my cardboard. I can throw that away and I can start to look at my base area, my ground. So with that, I'm gonna use mostly my medium round brush and a lot of dabbing techniques. So with this brush, I'm gonna start by building up my color. And I am gonna do that by using some greens, browns, and yellows. So I'm gonna start with my green and my brown, and I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna dab on some colors. This is gonna start giving me my texture that is just a little bit lighter than the background. So I'm gonna go over this entire space, allowing some of that dark color towards the back to still show, but then lightening it up just a little bit with some texture. With that little layer of lighter green on there, I'm gonna start going in now with some yellow. And this yellow, I'm not gonna put it everywhere. I'm actually gonna make some areas in my canvas that are going to be my light areas. So this is maybe where the trees have a break in them and showing through onto the ground. My goal when I do these types of things is not to allow the space to um, be expected. I, I don't want there to be an, an even balance on both the left and the right. I want some areas to be brighter, I want some areas to be darker. Um, I want some of those yellows to come out onto my path and some of them to be a little bit more muted. So just like in nature, things are not always going to be what you expect. Sometimes you get, you're surprised. And that's what I'm trying to go with where I'm laying these colors out. So I'm gonna wash that brush off and I'm gonna go in with my itty bitty brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a little bit of blue and a little bit of brown on my palette because I'm going to make a shadow. And I want my shadow to be a bluish brown color rather than the black. So with a dark bluish brown, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna pull some lines across my pathway, um, keeping again kind of random. So just kind of going left to right and if I want to, I can even add a little bit more brown to it to change the variation of my shadow. I'm gonna wash those brushes off. 
I'm going to wait until my background dries to add all of my leaves onto my trees because I really don't want to mix up too many colors in there. So I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, we're going to add our leaves. So now that we have our background dry and we only have a couple more steps left, I'm going to start in with my medium round brush and I'm just going to be adding in some greenery. So I'm going to start by making a spot on my palette for a little bit of green and a little bit of white just to kind of lighten the green up a tad, not too much. But then up here at the top, I'm just going to kind of start layering some dots of leaves. Now I don't need a whole, whole lot of dots of leaves and I can even kind of bring some down towards the middle or maybe even on my branches right here. Or if I have a part that I messed up that I don't love, I could just put some leaves on top of there. But I'm going to start with this light green color. And as I kind of go through, I like to take my brush and kind of turn it at different angles. And the reason I do that is that I don't want all of my leaves to look like they're the exact same shape. So by kind of turning my brush and pulling some of those colors and I can change that texture of my leaves. And after I have that type done, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna mix a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow in my palette. So now I'm gonna have a little bit more of a new color for my leaves. Um, and this is gonna go a little bit on top of what I just did. So with a light green color, I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna add some more. And then my last layer, I'm going to keep my brush dirty, but I'm just going to go in straight with yellow because I really like that bright color and it, you know, it kind of pulls in the yellow from down at the base. Really like that bright color on my leaves. Just every so often add a little bit of highlights of yellow on here. same yellow with my base dry. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight to the top of some of these areas by just dabbing on some of that yellow. And then as always, when you're finished, make sure that you sign your name with a color that's gonna show up. That's what I have my baby brush for. I always like to put my initials in the bottom right corner. So I have my name in the bottom right corner. And don't forget, the only way I can see what you're making at home is if you share it on our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting With A Purpose. And as always, remember, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.